Okay, so I got them in the water. Now it's got to come back up to a boil. But because it's a water bath again, I have to have the water come over the lids. Look at all the pulp. I mean, look at all the stuff I couldn't get juice out of anymore. So that's what's left over for my chickens and my compost. So we have about eight chickens and we get eight eggs a day on a regular basis. So very, very glad about that. Now, the water's just over the lids. And that's going to come to our rolling boil here in a minute. Oh, goodness, look. The air's already coming out of them. See it bubble? That's the air coming out of the jars. And they're starting to move. Oh, this is exciting. Like I said, this is a lot of work, and it takes a lot of time. But in the long run, it's worth it. Oh, here's my husband's. <laughs> He wanted a glass of juice, so there it is. And all I added was just a bit of salt, maybe two tablespoons for all that for all that juice. But let me go give this to him, and I will be back to pull these out after about 15 minutes. Ooh, did you hear that? One popped. Already sealing. Ah, I love this. Hold on, maybe another one will pop. One's about to pop. Not pop, not the jar pop. Just the seal, it's sealing. This is so exciting. I love that sound. It didn't even take 15 minutes. Here we go, another one's gonna pop in a minute. And this this will last for years, probably about two or three years in the pantry, just like that to be waiting to be used. But of course, I don't. It doesn't last that long. But it's better than taking up freezer space. Plus, I have all these jars my mom left me. God bless her soul. And so, yeah, might as well make use of them. Okay, I don't think any more are gonna pop just yet, but. I will be back.